describe the Mission District to somebody who had really no idea what it was about, what would you tell them? When I, when I first came here, the Mission District was not ever really included on maps. Uh, it, everything kind of dropped off past Market Street. It was like no man's land. But food-wise, it was this growing, um, vibrant, incredible scene um, at that point as well. And there were lots of really awesome um, small restaurants popping up serving incredible food. What I love about the Mission is it's exciting, it's vibrant, it's still a little bit gritty. Um, and, uh, and there's tons of places to eat. What kind of brought you to San Francisco and I guess the Mission District um, specifically? As a chef, I mean, I'm, I, I was starting to cook and I moved to New York, but I was always drawn to the Bay Area um, because of all the product, the wealth of product available and, and the caliber of restaurants that are out here. The variety of what we um, are able to get our hands on as far as products out here it goes. It's it's astounding. It's like really, really um, inspiring as a chef. I always wanted to be part of that. How do you think Delfina fits into the Mission District? Hopefully, we fit in pretty well. <laughs> when you know, when when Delfina opened um, 16 years ago, there wasn't much on this block at all. Now it's incredible. Sometimes, sometimes on like a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, it's like 18th Street is like the center of the universe or something. We'll have 30 people waiting outside of our pizzeria for pizza and the restaurants packed and the whole street's just like bursting with life. And, and the cool thing is like a lot of that is, is centered around food. Um, so it's a, it's a really special thing to be a part of. the Takaria 42 years ago. So how has the Mission District evolved since then? And it, and it has changed. A lot of um, Latin people used to live around here, but because the rents and the property is so expensive, they have to move out. A lot of American people are coming in the neighborhood. But you were here. You see all the Mexican Latin people that comes to the taco place from San Jose, from Gilroy. They just come over to eat here. The Mission District has changed a lot. It has the same personality it had before. And I think it's beautiful. Home of the nation's best burrito and San Francisco's best tacos. What makes it so good? Why do people stand in line for hours to get your food? I told you that because I'm so good looking. <laughs> I like everything to be in the best side. We try to keep it really fresh. And the most important thing, I think, is the meat, the flavor of the meat. Having that type of meat and making everything fresh over here, plus my employees, you know, my employees are so good. You see them all working hard, laughing and smiling and stuff like that. I think that's something to do with it. What is one thing La Taqueria cannot live without, one ingredient? My customers. We couldn't live without our employees because uh, you know, I love these guys, they're like my family. But um, as far as, uh, we couldn't live without the carne asada, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, our frescas are pretty good too. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me, I really appreciate it. it was my pleasure. I'm Salma Dada reporting for CalTV Entertainment. Thanks for joining me on this delicious journey.